Hello, my name is Melinda Riling. I'm from Alabama. I just wanted to tell everyone I wanted to be a part of this group and I just love everybody's stories. So I just wanted to briefly just tell you a little bit about my story and my background. I, um, I My husband had a 32 year career in the military. Um, so I witnessed, I, I got an opportunity to witness um, the military being totally destroyed in the Obama years. I can tell you that during the time when Obama was being was elected president, I was I was optimistic, thinking, "Wow, you know, he was, he was not just black; he was white as well, and he was in a better position than anyone ever could have been to have brought this country together." But what I witnessed was a a person who failed miserably. He divided our country like I had never seen before. I'm actually the same age as President Obama, and I can. And I can tell you, in my lifetime, I had never seen or felt such a division and racism ever in my lifetime. I, um, being that my husband, like I mentioned, was in the military, we had an opportunity. We got invited to the White House to mark the end of the Iraq War. There was 75 I Iraqi vets that were invited. So I got to meet President Obama and his wife. And I can honestly tell you that night that we were all in that room, I, Obama did not even feel comfortable. He was the first one, he was the last one to come in and the first one to leave. You could tell he was in water he was not comfortable in. I, uh, during the Obama years, all I could see was all, all the divisions and how I couldn't even, I wasn't even sure what side was he on. I felt like, you know, Bergdahl giving away five of our, our um, giving away five prisoners for a guy who, who deserted his post. And who gives money to our enemies? It just seemed like I didn't know what his agenda was, but it did come to my, it, obviously I could tell he was, I never felt he was on our side. I didn't know, I couldn't, I didn't, I felt there was something or somebody behind him. And as, as the end of the, as the end of his term came, it just couldn't come quick enough. I didn't even feel safe in my country anymore. I felt like, I felt like we were being sold out. And then here comes Hillary. If it couldn't get worse than Obama, we could go on and on and on about Hillary. And who, how anyone in the world could have ever thought, where would we be now if Hillary would have been elected? She would have sold us to the highest bidder. And thank goodness for Donald Trump. He is the one who has exposed all the crookedness that was going on that we would have never known about. The media has covered everything up. And if it wasn't for Donald Trump, we wouldn't even know any of this. I can honestly tell you, I did not know if I was a Republican or a Democrat before the 2016 election. But I can sure tell you now, I know I am never going to be a Democrat. And thank you for Donald Trump. I remember when he came down the escalator. I never was so excited about a candidate. I watched him. I, I watched all of his rallies. In fact, I went to two of his rallies. It was one of the most exciting events I've been to. And it is it was everything he would always say. The people were lined up outside. There were people everywhere. We were in line for five hours just to get in. I saw the excitement. It was a movement. And I kept wondering why are the why are the news media reporting that he was down in the polls? It just didn't make sense what I saw how people were talking about and what people were going through to go see him. And his message, I, the way the the way CNN and MSNBC would report his message, it wasn't at all what he was saying. He loved African Americans. He loved the Me Mexican community. They would take clips out of context, and they had an agenda. And that agenda was they wanted Obama's uh, administration. He they wanted his his uh, agenda to continue. Is what they wanted. You know, I grew up in the days when we had Walter Cronkite. And when Walter Cronkite, when he would say at the end of every every newscast, he would say, and that's the way it is. Or, and we knew when he said, and that's the way it is, that's the way it was. We don't know that anymore. We don't. I don't trust any of the media anymore. And we would have not known any of this without Donald Trump. So when the 2016 November, when, that, when the election on November 8th, 2016, I stayed up the entire night. And I can honestly tell you, when Donald Trump finally came out and they said he was president, I broke down and cried. I felt like we had dodged a bullet. And I, I think God was involved in that. 
and I will always think that. But I see this movement, and I'm so happy for this because I think more and more people are waking up to what we, all of us, none of us knew. And we wouldn't be here without Donald Trump. So I just want to thank everybody. I've enjoyed all your, your um, testimonies and your stories, and I look forward to seeing more of them. Anyway, goodbye.